Namaskaram everyone. So when I stayed at the Isha Ashram, every Ekadeshi dinner menu used to be very similar. And in today's video, I'll be preparing four Ekadeshi dinner recipes from Isha. So let's get started. I have all the ingredients uh, ready. First, let's start preparing brown rice kanji or uh, brown rice porridge. For this, you will need one cup of brown rice, one third cup of moong dal, and one teaspoon of salt. So in a pressure cooker, add this. We will wash and uh, rinse it and then we'll keep it to cook. We will add three cups of water to it along with the salt. We'll pressure cook this for three whistles. Parallelly, we will also start preparing channa dal sundal. For that, I have washed and soaked about one cup of uh, channa dal. Black channa, right? Yeah, it's black channa. We will wash it and then we will keep it for cooking for with four cups of water. We'll also add a little bit of salt. You can add about one to two tablespoon of salt. So, did you follow Ekadashi every month when you were in Ashram? Uh, no, <laughs> I stayed for about uh, seven to eight months during Sadhana Pada. But uh, I think there were around 15 Ekadashis or so, uh, probably. But uh, I just did a few of them. And also it depended on uh, Adiyogi Pradakshina, how much I did and uh, how hungry I was. So, no, I did not follow Ekadashi fasting uh, very strictly while I was in Ashram. But I did it a few times, yeah. <laughs> so we have both the cookers ready. So brown rice kanji in one and then uh, we have kept chana dal uh, to cook. So meanwhile we can also prepare um, we have tur dal chutney and uh, carrot, cabbage and beans uh, for yell or stir fry kind. So we will prepare the chutney first. For that, one cup tur dal, one to two teaspoons of mustard seeds. I have soaked a little bit of tamarind, uh, three to four red chilies and one inch of ginger. We will add about one to two teaspoons of oil and we will dry roast the tur dal and the mustard seeds along with the red chilies. So during Ekadashi, what else did they provide you and the ashram for food? So they used to give uh, Ashgar juice and uh, Sanjeevni kanji. Oh. Okay. If you're fasting, yeah, you can have them. So I've just added uh, mustard seeds, red chili. And we'll add the thur dal as well. So we have uh, slightly roasted it, about 5 minutes. We will let it to cool and then we will add all of this along with tamarind and ginger to the mixy jar. So next, uh, we will prepare beans, carrot and uh, cabbage stir fry. So for that, we will add about one to two teaspoons of oil. You can use groundnut oil. And once the oil heats up, we'll do the tempering. About half a teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of urad dal, half a teaspoon of chana dal. I'm adding little cumin as well. Let's add all the vegetables to the tempering. If you are uh, new to Indian way of cooking, you can also just steam the vegetables and add a little bit of pepper and salt. Uh, even if you are a beginner, you can do that. Mm. You can use any oil also, but in the recipe, it's called groundnut oil. Uh, yeah, groundnut oil will give you that taste. Yeah, different. Uh, it's like uh, when you use sesame oil, it gives a different flavor. So every oil has its that's flavor to the food that you eat. At this stage, we'll just add a little bit of salt and uh, we'll give it a mix. We'll cover it up. For the tur dal chutney, our mixture is cooled. So we'll let's add it to the blender. We'll add about one teaspoon of salt as well. So 
So tur dal chutney is done. So we have three other recipes. So the vegetables have been um, in steam for about uh, five to ten minutes now. So we'll just see if they are cooked well, and then we'll add some grated coconut. So now this is done. Carrot, cabbage, and uh, green beans. Stir fry or palya. So the cooker is cooled down. Let's see uh, how the brown rice kanji has come. This consistency is okay. Next, we'll prepare the channa dal soon. We'll finish it off. So the black channa is cooked. We'll just prepare the tempering, add the channa, and add some grated coconut. So for the tempering again. Just a little bit of oil. This looks like a lot of cooking. Can beginners also do this? Yeah, I think even beginners can do this. It's not much. At least one dish you can, uh, like one uh, recipe you can try and see if you're a beginner. Uh, it should not be. Uh, it should be okay. I think we don't have to be experts in cooking. Uh, if we can do some decent cooking, that's that's more than enough. <laughs> yeah, like how I taught you. Hey, no. <laughs> we can drain the excess water. We can later have this, uh, you know, the water in which we uh, cook the chana dal. So I've already added uh, mustard and cumin. And also add a little bit of urad dal. I'm adding pepper. You can also add uh, red chili. Now we'll add a little bit of grated coconut. Just give it a nice stir, and then we are done. So we have uh, finished the four uh, ekadeshi dinner menus uh, recipes from uh, Isha. Uh, this recipe you will get it on uh, Isha blog as well. Um, so we have turtal chutney, we have carrot, cabbage, and beans puriyal. We have brown rice and moong dal porridge, or kanji, and then black chana sundal. You can have these along with uh, fruit, maybe like papaya or any fruit of your choice, and break your ekadashi fast. So, roughly, how much time did it take? Uh, because I prepared everything in parallel, so it took about maybe like thirty minutes. But if you have, let's say, two burners, or if you are new to cooking, it might take a little uh, longer. But uh, yeah, do give it a try. Maybe at least one of those recipes. Do uh, try it, and uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if you like the recipes. So see you again in the next video. Namaskaram. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>